I'm Allison Henron. I'm a Master Certified Coach. I'm Founder and CEO of Coaching Out of the Box. I'm also Director of Training and Faculty at Royal Roads University for their Executive Coaching Program and Charter Faculty for U the University of Texas at Dallas for their Executive Coaching Program. Yeah, I've been in coaching for 14 years. You want to work with someone who is, who is completely focused on supporting you in moving forward and taking action. Interview two or three, you need to hire a well-educated, well-trained coach who has invested in getting the best coach training out there. Have an experience of being coached by them versus just simply a back and forth, who are you, what have you done? Get an experience of what their coaching is like. You may have a fit right off the bat and I say go with it. You don't want to look for some quick fix. Oh, I'm going to have one time with a coach and oh my gosh, the, you know, the skies are going to part and everything's going to be fine. Be prepared to invest in a minimum of three months and ideally I would say six months to a year or more. I think that the, the biggest benefit that clients have told me and that I've seen happen out there is that you move farther, faster, easier, quicker, better than you would have if you'd been by yourself. You've got a thinking partner, you've got someone you can brainstorm with, you can share things with. Maybe you're the leader, you're the CEO of an organization. You don't have anybody else to speak to. You use a coach to kind of brainstorm and figure out, okay, what are my next steps? Steps. How am I going to move forward? That at the end of that time, whatever it is, six months, three months, a year, whatever, you're going to say, this is the best money I ever spent. My clients uh, come from all walks of life, but mostly they're executive coaching clients who work with organizations or are small business owners. The success that they have had is about launching, about taking their company to the next level, about taking their team to the next level, and that's happened a number of times. What is it that we can look at six months, a year down the road, and say, all right, this is improved. You have to decide that with the client. In other words, why are they hiring you, and how are they going to measure that? I'll have people contact me. I've got one woman who I've worked with for 14 years off and on, right? She's a best-selling author on Amazon. She's written since she started working with me. She's now into, I think, her eighth book. They've all become bestsellers. And she hires me at these various points. That's a great, I think that's a really nice success story. There's no miracle that the coach is gonna suddenly do something for you if you're not open. You've gotta be willing to take some risks. You've gotta be willing to experiment. And you've gotta be willing to be open to feedback. What would it be like if we all used a coach approach in many of the things that we did to take coaching out to the world and have everybody learn the skills of coaching? I think we should have this in the schools. I think all leaders and managers should have the competency of coaching. And I am passionate about the transformative power that it has when someone is asked and tapped into their strengths, their talents, their brilliance, and a coach brings that out of them. That's what I'm passionate about is, is supporting others in doing that.